Virginia's Attorney General making a stop here in Charlottesville to recognize a local company's fight against the opioid crises. Our CBS 19's Felicity Taylor shares the next steps in addiction treatment in our community. When people come here, oftentimes, dealing with addiction, they have in many ways they've seen the face of hell. Charlottesville police responded to 101 overdoses in 2023. ARS Pantop's treatment center is worried that problem is growing. Through your love and your compassion, you give them a small glimpse of heaven. ARS opening their intensive outpatient program, or IOP, Wednesday, which adds another way to treat patients. Virginia Attorney General Jason Miyares naming them the silent heroes of his fight against fentanyl. This initiative aligns perfectly with what we're doing. We see it every day. You know, with kids, they, they come in, they think they're getting a pill, that's one thing, and it's fentanyl, and they're overdosing, and it's, it's terrifying out there. ARS is currently serving 540 patients. With the IOP program, they're adding 10 more to start. 540 patients we have with just opioid disorder. Believe me, there are people struggling with alcohol, uh, with, like I said, crystal methamphetamine, cocaine. Those 10 patients will meet three times a week for three hours with counselors. Studies have shown that it's just as effective as an inpatient 30-day treatment. But for folks who can't give up their job for 30 days or can't leave their family for 30 days, IOP is a great alternative. Felicity Taylor, 